This is my 2007 Harley Davidson Police Road King. Today I'm going to tell you what the American police did to it, how it came to be with me, what I've done to it since I had it, and a few other bits and bobs. First off, I will say this is not a garage princess. It doesn't come out just to get cleaned. Um, it doesn't go on only dry roads. If you haven't seen any of the other videos, check them out on the channel and you'll see me going all over the country on the bike. Uh, if you'd like the videos, please do subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm 600 and something at the moment. So uh, that would be very much appreciated. So, once I'd decided which Harley I wanted, I contacted a, a good friend of mine who um, imports, customises and builds Harleys. Um, he then told me he got uh, a Road King in America um, and he could import it over to me. Um, I purchased the bike without even seeing it. Or even if well without seeing it without seeing a photograph of it and I will put some photographs up now of when it first arrived in the country The bike was pretty beat up, um, as you can see. It, the police had crashed it, so we'd got uh, lights were broken, front guard was broken, speedo was broken, tank was caved in, it had got a single seat on it. It was generally pretty bad condition uh, but it was on the understanding that the money was right on the bike and um, we could get the work done I was quite interested in the background of the the bike um you know with it being uh, an ex police bike i'd got in my head that it had been involved with kind of high speed chases and murderous drug dealing pimps and it come with bullet holes in it and all that kind of malarkey so i uh, had to get some keys for it because it came over with no keys so i got some keys from holly davidson in chester and they were good enough to give me a load of information um it turns out it was from a police department in central florida after doing a bit of research on that it was a tiny police department with only two police riders and two police bikes i actually found some videos that one of the riders had put on the internet from 2008 so he could have been the rider of that bike the one who fell off it and crashed it um, he basically said the bikes are used for some patrol purposes but mainly you know we do processions and parades and we take them to hospitals and let kids bounce up and down on them so not quite shootouts probably more little Johnny Jr with no arms and no legs that he'd lost in a freak donut accident and things like that so yeah it was it was a bit of a mess when it came over. I then uh, rode the bike for probably about a year. Didn't do much to it. About the only thing it had in that time was the rear backrest. Um, not a lot else done to it, to be fair. Um, after about a year, kind of got used to the bike and thought, right, I want to some, get some work done on it now. So I thought, get the cams done. Um, so it went off to uh, a guy who was recommended by my friend who imported the bike who does all his kind of engine work 
this guy's a proper hardcore club rider um, so the bike went off to him with the cams in mind a few conversations later it ended up having the cams done um, but also then an upgraded uh, basically engine so pistons cylinders ports remapped tuned oh handlebars as well um because i really didn't like the original handlebars on the bike i also fancy putting a screen on the bike um so i spoke to the the guy about that and he went what do you want a screen for i said well got up to a couple of hours on the motor when you're doing when you're doing like 70 mile an hour it just gets a bit monotonous with the wind hitting you and his words not mine were well why don't you just grow a pair which kind of made me laugh and he all but refused to put a windscreen on it so it didn't have a windscreen on it it had all the engine work done and the bars changed um and yeah on the way to the diner to get tuned it chewed its clutch up so then it had to go back and have a new clutch um it was all fixed then and then it came back to me the difference with the cams and the engine upgrades was just massive i think on the diner it's now or it certainly was then uh about 125 brake and 125 torque so that made a a huge huge difference Since all the engine work, it's had actually very little done to it. Um, pretty much the uh, electrical charging point was done, servicing, tyres, not a great deal else. Stuff moving forward I would still like to get done. The panniers have still got damage from when the police dropped it more so on that side so I just have got to get them resprayed at some point and I would love to put some massive big uh, pipes on it stuff like zombies or s and &S. I mean you can't really have a Harley that's too low can you they do make a nice sound at the moment and it's not an urgent job but yeah they, they'd be nice to get done
then went into storage for what I can gather about four years where it was purchased by my 